greetings. Now, in case uh, yeah, you have haven't checked, you have read the description in my channel. <coughs> I <coughs> I said that when I hit ten subscribers, I was gonna start a gaming series. I have hit thirteen subscribers. Yes, meaning I should have started this a while ago, but it took time to get it started. So ultimately, I have found a game that I'm going you know, to be doing. Now, as my ch channel has the word random in the name, I decided to go with something random. A little less well-known yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. For the PlayStation 1. Yeah, that far back. Not really far back, but farther back than most people go. Yeah, this game is called Siphon Filter. Now, let's get to the game. Okay, so in order to cut out from yeah, me from Mad going through all the cutscenes and just going to be explaining what's going on. Basically, this terrorist organization has some biological bombs and they're trying to set them off in a city. So they're sending the, yeah, me, the the best agent that the country has, to stop it. Basically, it. So let's get to the game. Okay, I'm in streets. Pretty simple. Now, my main weapon right now is a handgun, a silenced nine millimeter, but ultimately. I'm not going to be that for long because I just picked up a yeah, semi-automatic rifle. And obviously that's a better weapon, so... I... I rest my case. So, now. Let's check our objectives by going to the menu. Now. Objective. Eliminate Kravich and destroy Kamarae. And eliminate Ronnie. Okay. Now, yeah, let's check the map also in the menu. Yeah, to try to find out where these are. Now, okay, so it looks like one of these guys is in the bar. Now, as you can see here, I'm right next to the bar. And I'm also right next to this guy, so. Now. As we can see, I'm pr running low on that ammo for this gun, so I'm going to switch out to a different weapon. Now, interesting weapon in this game is the taser. Because this isn't a normal taser. You need something really interesting with this. You can, you can tase people on fire. Yeah. Oh. I forgot you can tase that if you touch anyone that's on fire, you catch on fire yourself and die. So, remember that. Now I'm gonna start the level over again. Fortunately, I didn't make any progress. Now, now this game's pretty simple. For, yeah, yeah, these early levels, the easiest way to get, you know, to beat an entire room full of people is, <coughs> when there's not anything in the way, just go in guns blazing. Now, yeah, you're gonna pick up this uh, ammo over here, and now I'm going to go into the bar to take out that one guy that I have to take care of. Okay, make sure you look over around the corners. Make sure no one's here. Okay, I'm here, but what about here? And guy here. Now, here's the tip. Always
always make sure you yeah take that any bullets you get. You need to make sure you have enough. <coughs> Especially yeah. with your best gun because you don't want to end up yeah. having to resort to using the worst one. Oh, looks like I have, looks like the one. Basically, they're saying that I have to destroy the communication links, which is in this room over here. And now I have to kill this guy. So, basically just shoot him a bunch of times. Which I just did. However, I am now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you look behind here, there is a chest. Now, let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, a shotgun. Now, I'm out of ammo with this rifle, so, yeah, so, so I'm going to switch. Okay, shotgun. Now, in case you guys don't know what a shotgun is, you're about to learn. That's a shotgun. Now, this thing has a lot of power behind it. One sh it can yeah, usually one-shot one of these kind of guys. <coughs> now, just need to uh, kill this guy. Okay, now that he's dead, now I just need to destroy this. This is the communication thing. And now that it is destroyed, I can move on to the next objective. And the next objective is to eliminate that one guy. Now I'm gonna now I'm actually going to check out the place next to where I am right now. Seems like yeah. Yeah, the place that I might want to check out. Okay. <laughs> I love how I can just run through windows. And now I can shoot these guys. This shotgun's cool. I did. Okay, so I'm going to check out this place. Hello. 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 And goodbye. So I'm gonna check out this place now. Okay, now in dark rooms like this, we probably the you know, most you know, annoying weapon in this entire game, not actually a weapon, it's this flashlight. Now, you see, there's a chest over here. Let's see what's in it. A flak jacket. Now, that is the health upgrade in this game. Brings you back up to full health. Other than that, no health increase. Okay. <laughs> okay, they're telling me that the subway system is locked down, meaning I can't kill the people behind me. So, I have to shut down the power, which is... funny enough, in the bar. Well, next to the bar, but I have to go through the bar to get to it. Oh, here's a tip. Never forget to switch out your weapons. Now I have my uh, yeah, my rifle, so I'm going to be switching over. I'm going to be switching over to my rifle again. Because I have ammo for it. Because ultimately you're going to want to save the shotgun for a series. Thing. No, excuse the background noise. But. So... Now, the only window I saw in this entire place was in here when I shot that last guy. So, now, here's actually a tip I learned, a trick I learned uh, when just destroying bottles. The taser has infinite ammo and can destroy glass. Meaning, you don't waste bullets by destroying the glass. Yeah, so, use the taser for this kind of stuff. Great, now I have to... <coughs> and they gave me another objective. Wow. Well, I'd like to say that the band... Okay, that's slightly annoying, but, hey, just one more thing I have to do. Take care of it. And then everything will be okay. So, right now, I have to go and protect yeah, a group yeah, of people from the government 
as they're trying to do something. I think disarming a bomb. But ultimately, I don't really care what they're doing. I just have to make sure none of them get shot. Oh, oh well then. Snipers. But one, not only the most annoying class in TF2, but they're also in this game. Fortunately, one shot should seem to put, take them down. But aiming in this game is pretty difficult, so... Never mind, I just figured out how to, how to have it auto-aim. And, uh, it looks like I've taken down all of the snipers. But just because you take out the snipers doesn't mean they're not in danger, because it's in this random explosions. It's like a Michael Bay movie. Always make sure to take out the spare bullets whenever you get a chance. Okay. Okay, flag check. Now, interesting thing about this game it, is that it, as long as you're undamaged, you are not able to take it to help us. I like that as it's a, as it's a way of how they don't let you waste your your power your healing items. Oh, <laughs> I just realized. Holding down the but the fire button with this rifle makes it shoot keep shooting. I guess it's not semi-automatic, it's just fully automatic. Okay. Now, I just hit a checkpoint. And this video is probably getting pretty long, so this is where I'm going to cut off for the for this video. I will continue where I left off yeah in the next video. Until then, this is me signing off.